Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars, also known as the RevitGuys.com. Uh, this week we're going to cover a tip of using filters in kind of an intense way. Uh, we have a situation here where two different groups in the same office use phasing differently and they want it to show up different graphically. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our own parameters and we're going to use visibility filters to create the same setup as phasing but we're going to move it from the global setting where phasing is set up because right now if I change the phasing graphic overrides this is per project. What we're going to do is move it to a local or per view setting. So the concepts we're using here can be used in just about any scenario whether you want to show color code them by voltage, color code them if they're not circuited, if they are circuited. Um, all these criteria you can add to elements and it's not just electrical and then color code it uh, appropriately. For instance, you may have this wall may be a one hour wall so we can tell Revit to color the one hour wall red. This could be a two hour wall, say color that blue. So the filters are very powerful in Revit. Um, it's a good way to consider how you did things in AutoCAD. If you created a special layer for something uh, and then you put those on a special layer, for instance you may have taken all your demo receptacles and put them on a particular layer and then color coded them. Uh, this is pretty close to how you would move things around in, Rev in Revit. You're gonna, you, you gather up the ones that are similar and we're going to group them together and color code them appropriately. So let's go jump in. So what I have here is an electrical plan. Again, it doesn't have to be electrical. So we're going to do, let's consider our, our scenario. Our scenario is we have two disciplines. We have the M and E um, discipline. We have the M people. They want to use phasing a certain way. They have different colors and different uh, dashes that they use. And we have the E, or the electrical people, that want different colors and dashes and, and, and looks also. But they're working on the same project. Um, so how do we do that in the same project, avoiding the phasing? So again, this is uh, just another way to use filters. So let's jump in. Um, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I have to create a particular set settings. I have to, in essence, if you want to use this as an AutoCAD uh, um, logic, I have to figure out a way to sort them out. In AutoCAD, we put them on a different layer. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to Project Parameters, and I'm going to add one. I'm going to say Existing to Remain. Now I'm going to say you guys, if I grab one of you guys and tell them that they're existing to Remain, then we can then color code by that criteria. So we have to set the criteria first. If you want to think of it as Excel, we're putting in another column or another field. So existing to Remain. Uh, is it a common setting? Yes. Uh, we're going to say is it a yes or no question? Because is it existing to remain? Yes or no? That's just an answer they can answer. Good to go. And we'll group it on the graphics. All right. Now we could group it on the phasing, but it might get a little confusing. So I'm going to say group it on their graphics. Now we have to decide who is going to get these uh, settings. Now we could hit check all, but that's going to kind of goo up the database. So what we're going to do is go in and, and pick the important things to us. So I may say, okay, uh, if I'm on the electrical side, I may do conduit and conduit fittings. Go down a little further. It may be data devices, okay? As I go down again, I keep picking these. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set these up for the electrical side. The, um, if the duct, let's say the, uh, excuse me, if the mechanical guys are doing it too, I could come in here and do the same thing. We just have to hit all the physical items, right? So I go down here, and I'll go electrical equipment. Because this is, this is going to be an instance parameter, so a person could say this is existing to remain and this is existing to remain. But it really is not, uh, doesn't matter if it's electrical or mechanical. I'm just using the electrical as an example. So I want to make sure my electrical information is set. So let's go up here. Okay, equipment fixtures. We also do wire. Again, you can do lighting and just take your time and go through here and ch check all the elements that you want. What Revit's going to do is going to take this existing room to remain and it's going to add it to my instance properties right here. It's going to be pretty slick. You'll see in a moment. So I set that up and I hit OK. That's it. We have just added a new tool tip. I mean a new, excuse me, a new uh, parameter or a new field or a new column if you're thinking of Excel. I'm going to go back to modify and another feature that's been added in the recent Revit's is the ability to add a tool tip. So if you want to use this you can. You can come here and wipe this out and say uh, check this box if this item is existing to remain. Okay. So put some notes in there. So let's say tomorrow I get hit by a bus. The new guy coming in, he can read it and know what it does. We hit OK on that. We hit OK. Now, we just added that in. So let's go ahead and click on this guy. 
I, I highlight him, and notice what it says. Is he existing to remain? Yes or no? See, I can actually check that box, which is pretty sweet. Now, we also have existing to remain. We have existing to be demoed. So let's create another one. Um, project filters here. Add another one. We'll say existing to be demoed. existing demo. There we go. Again, uh, common. Is it a length? No. It's going to be a yes, no. It's demoed or not. Uh, other. We're going to group it on the graphics because we're driving the graphics now. Again, I'm going to uh, uh, keep it a little simpler here. I'm just going to go directly up to the electrical and then we'll go down here to wire because that's all that's on the screen right now. But again, you decide. You may pick all MEP elements. That's going to give us the ability to turn those things on and off or adjust them as needed. Again, a tool tip. We'll skip that. All right. So I hit OK. Now, let's check it out. I picked that receptacle. Notice it has an option. Is it existing to remain or is it existing to be demoed? So right now, the user can make that choice. If he doesn't know what it is, hover over it. See, check this box if this item is existing to remain. Excellent. All right. So now we've explained uh, how we set up the parameters. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're now going to filter the elements. Because if I, if I take these guys and I grab, let's say, that guy and that wire, and I say, okay, you are uh, existing to be demoed. Okay, I step away and I'll grab this guy. And again, he's going to be existing to be demoed. You'll notice when I click on these items that they have uh, kind of a grayed out uh, check mark in there. It's because it's not a yes, it's not a no. Uh, the, the field's actually blank right now. So Revit says, I don't know if it's a yes or a no. So it leaves it blank. Now, once you say yes or no, it, it's either yes or no at that point. You can't go back. So it's either blank, which is this, or it says yes or no. So we just, we'll just we work with that as we get to it. Now we have to call time the color code. So there's going to be about three steps we're going to do here. Number one is add uh, the parameter or the field or if you want to, you know, how we're going to separate them out. Number two, we're going to go in and we're going to adjust how the view sets up. I'll go VB. And we're going to go to filters. Now we don't have a filter created yet, so number two, we have to create the filter. Let's hit edit new. And we're going to hit this little button here. And we're going to say um, existing to be demoed. Okay? Existing to demo. Oh, existing to demo. Is this to be demoed? Whatever you want to call it. Existing to demo. There we go. Again, I'm going to keep it clean. I'm just going to go down, go, uh, get back to the wires and go up the electrical. Instead of me sitting here, you watch me check boxes all day. Electrical equipment. Okay. So now we say go find. This is what this little tool does. Go find all of the electrical equipment electrical fixtures and wire that have what uh, criteria that they have an exi existing to be demoed that equals yes okay so let's think about that a moment ago we came over here we grabbed those three or four items we said are are you are you going to be demoed we checked the box now this item is going to race through the project or the view and say which one of you wires electrical items or electrical equipment fit that criteria. So if you think about it, it's, it's, it's querying this stuff out. It's actually getting grouping it into smaller, smaller groups. If I leave it like this with nothing, and I just say this is none, it will go get all the electrical equipment, all electrical fixtures, and all the wires and group them up. And then we can turn them on and off and do stuff with them. But we're going to take it further. Once you, Revit has gathered up all the electrical equipment, fixtures, and wire, then we're going to say out of that group, go ahead and find all the ones that are existing to be demoed, and the box equals yes. Okay. Then we could also say and that are a certain voltage and or and continue down. Uh, now I used the word and or, but uh, Revit doesn't have an or. It's an and only. Sorry about that. Other databases have ors. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now we've created the filter. I'm going to hit to create another one real quick. Uh, create hit this one here. So we ha already have our existing demo. I'm going to create another one. This is going to be existing. To remain. Now my typing does kind of suck, so you have to work with me on that. Remain. Okay. Existing to remain. Hit OK. Uh, now we're going to go find the same elements again. This is up to you on who you want to query and how you want to query it. So you set these up. Uh, set them up as, as user friendly as, as you can. If I check all these boxes, it will look for duct. It will look for electrical. And then if there's no elect, no duct work on this view, well, it just it skips over it. So I'm coming down here. I'm gonna say, okay, go find all of the wires that have existing to remain 
equals yes. So now I've created two filters. One's going to gather up all the existing to demo, one's going to gather up all to remain. Step two is complete. Step three, we're going to add it here. Now once you set these up, here's a neat tool. You never have to set them up again. You can transfer them from project to project or view to view. Sweet. Okay, so I've got my existing to demo. See, I moved it up. And now I hit add existing to remain. Okay, so see, I put them in here. Now we're going to go ahead and, and overwrite them. So if it's existing to demo, I hit overwrite the lines. I'm going to say let's make them not as thick. Uh, let's make them the color of magenta and let's use a line override and again you pick the one that works best for you I'm gonna take this little dash 16th hit OK so I said if you fit the criteria existing to demo do this if you're existing to remain I'm gonna say well you know I'm gonna I'm not gonna dash them I'm gonna thin the line up I'll set the color well not even set the color I'm gonna thin the line up I hit OK and I'm gonna half tone them so they drop back I hit OK let's check it out oh, look what just happened sweet now, let's try it out in real world. So, Mr. Bill, here's the setup. We're not going to use the standard phasing. We want to use it for a view. Okay. First of all, let's go ahead and right click on duplicate this view, duplicate the view, and duplicate it. Now, here it is duplicated. Now, in this view, just so there's no smoke and mirrors, I'm going to go VV, and I'm going to remove the filters. Now, notice how quickly I could duplicate the view with the filters so I could change them to whatever I want in here. Hit remove, remove. So, in this one, we have no filters, and uh, Let's go ahead and put the wire back in, tab, grab it, wire it up, there we go. So in this one, this one doesn't have the filters running. Notice it's all happy happy. When I go to level two, this one actually is showing the particular setup. I could even rename this to level one demo plan. Hit OK. Now what I want to do is I want to show everybody what's happening. So I'm going to say, okay, you guys, and I'm just going to use crossings or whatever I want to do, crossing, you or existing to remain? No. You're going to be demoed out. Okay. Let's say we're going to demo out this wall. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Okay, you guys, you're going to be uh, demoed. Okay. And then this guy over here, I'm going to say, well, these guys are going to remain. These existing to remain. So I'll do a crossing now. See, I picked up the room. I'm going to filter that out. Okay, so we want the space. And I'll say, okay, you guys are going to be existing to remain. But notice what's happening in my view. These are new because, see, they don't fit either criteria. They're not existing to remain. They're not existing to be demoed, so, ch so chances are they're new. So what we've done here is we have a plan now that is independent of other views see, that I have the ability to drive the look and feel. So there's my existing to remain. There is my demo, and here's my new. So as you put stuff in, if I fire this up and I hit CS for create similar, I drop him in. Uh, notice he's coming in. It's all happy, happy, happy. And then if I decide I need to make these a demo, put a window around them, grab the wire too, okay, and say, yeah, you guys are going to be demoed out.